One mechanical component on the bicycle's rear derailleur that gets very little attention but is a major source of mechanical drag is the tension pulley or the guide pulley that the rear derailleur features two of them. The reason why they wear a lot, they wear almost five times as fast as everything else on a drivetrain is because they are the smallest. They have 11 teeth on them, however you want to count it. That means, if you do the math with me, that every time the crank is turned around, one full turn, 52 teeth on the large uh, chain ring at the moment here, that means that the 11 goes into the 52 4.72 times. So, they turn a lot, therefore they wear a lot. I hope that makes sense. This particular derailleur model, Shimano's long cage variant of an Altegra cable pull Altegra derailleur, this is the RD8000 version, there is a different design to the guide pulley and a different design to the tension pulley. The tension pulley is the lower one here. Right now, of course, there's no chain running through it because servicing these needs the chain to be out of the way. I want to point out one thing here that is uh, interesting about the Altegra guide pulley and tension pulleys. They have a bearing, a ball bearing. I don't know if you can see the bearing designation number. It's R-17660. Capital D. So that's the tiny bearing that runs in it. I'm going to include the bearings specs in the description box below and the bearings are covered up by a small plate, but two of them. And I'm going to put some grease because there used to be some grease between the seal of the bearing and the inner side of this plate. So this is just a dry fit, so this goes in one side and this goes in on the other side and on the Altegra these wheels are directional that means you can see the arrows on it so this guide wheel is going up top there and needs to be rotated this way so uh, because the chain runs through it in this direction and the chain turns wraps it this way so it needs to be rotating this way and that's exactly what's the, uh, what the arrow is showing on the body it's cast into the plastic body so of course these are they are rotating this way of course these are inexpensive to replace but if it's not broken I don't replace it I maintain it I just cleaned took it all apart and cleaned both out. They're gonna be assembled again with a tiny amount of grease. The bearing is sealed. That means that, of course, the these washers are tight fitting and they come out with a little bit of effort there. Okay. So this seal that you're looking at is keeping there's a there's lubricant inside the ball. This tiny ball bearing and it is lasting longer the steel ball bearing is lasting longer than the plastic gear teeth on this item you can see how badly scratched they are so the bearings are not worth replacing the plastic gear teeth are gonna wear faster than the steel um, bearing inside but so this is a maintenance item and for ultimate performance the Altegra has this tiny ball bearing featured in it. Assembly note. The tiny bolt that goes through the side plate and of course goes through the middle of the pulleys have thread lock on it. The manual the user's manual, neither the user's manual nor the service manual say anything about the thread lock compound. Of course, red thread lock 
needs to be matched with red thread look this is blue but this is just storytelling okay and it needs to be put in place ideally with some kind of a torque wrench here is a super mini that can do between two and a half to five newton meters of torque this is made by Lezine and I'm not just inventing these numbers of course they are coming right out of the service manual I'm going to include of course a link to this service manual they say absolutely nothing about servicing the small uh, ball bearing but they do mention the directionality and there's your torque specifications so this item major source of friction because they are being used 4.7 times more than every other component on the drivetrain and they need frequent replacement so pay attention to these little guys 